Welcome to Glacier National Park. Easily one of our favorite national parks we've been to. This is our second time here. We're here for a week with our family. Uh, there's lots of beautiful things and nature to enjoy, but uh, there are also some tricks to it. There's a very short season where the roads are accessible. It takes a lot of planning. So hopefully we'll be able to help you get a few bits of useful information and show you a few things you might enjoy here. Best thing to do if a deer gets too close to you is try to scare him off. Clap your hands, yell at him. Because again, deer can be dangerous. Deer kill a lot of people. I mean, most of them are in car accidents, but they also kill people by attacking them. They have a tendency to go up on their hind legs and come down with their four feet and just pound you. They can also gouge you if they happen to have antlers. They will, if one of the things that tame animals will do is they will very often treat people like a member of their own species, which means that if you're annoying them, they might come after you. We have two major species of bears here. We have black bears, which by the way can be brown or blonde or cinnamon colored. And we have grizzly bears, which can be black or blonde or cinnamon colored. <laughs> The way to tell them apart is in a lot of ways by their profile, right? Other than color, what's the big difference between these pictures? Size. The backs. What about the backs? The big hump. One of them is hump. That's the grizzly bear. For, for carnivores, you want to be at least 100 yards away, whether it be a cougar, a bear, a wolf, a lynx, whatever, 100 yards away, which is probably from here to about a decent way into the parking lot. Or be in your car. That's the best way. I think we got one more tray in this one. Okay, let's try it again. It's a lot more impressive and a lot more orange when you do it. But that's basically what it is. There's Spray beware. down. Don't don't do that. Like The trail of the Cedars Loop is a very short and easy hike, mostly on a wooded boardwalk path. And uh, it's quite nice. It connects to the Avalanche Lake Trail, which is super fun. We did that before, but it's currently closed for um, snow, mud, Bloody. that kind of thing. But yeah, it's actually late June of 2022. And they told us it's the latest that going into the Sun Road has been closed for snow ever in the history of the park. Lucky us. Avalanche Creek, a very nice little part of the Trail of the Cedars. The Avalanche Lake Trail follows this creek almost the whole way. And it's just stunningly beautiful. I wish we were doing it again today. <laughs> it decided to rain on us a little bit. Such things do happen in the Rocky Mountains. Nevertheless, we've decided to hike the Johns Lake Loop, which is two miles if you do the full loop. That you don't even have to do that much if you don't want to, because it meets back up with the road part way through. Behold the majesty of John's Lake. Feast your eyes. Yeah, it's uh, it's really quite tiny. Really quite. Uh, well, I can't say it's ugly. It's uh, it's nature. Hey, you guys found it. Nice, it's John's Lake. And there's little lily pads on it. I'm so relieved that that little gross puddle wasn't the lake we hiked here from. Yeah, we call that John Pond, and this is John's Lake. John Pond, I'd call it like John's Urinal or something. <laughs> John's John, there you go. John. <laughs> I'm dying. 
closer look. There we go. There we go. There's the lake. And there's the rain. Lily pads. Ah, oh, so pretty. All right. Here we go. This is the Sacred Dancing Falls, which the Sacred Dancing Falls seem to actually be the highlight of this John's Lake loop. Pretty impressive. Yeah. Woohoo! That's a lot of water. Holy smokes. Now that's a big waterfall. I believe this is Upper McDonald Falls. I stand corrected. This is the true highlight of John Lake's loop. Whoa! We took the Rocky Point Trail, a short 0 0.9 miles. That leads you to this nice view from the north shores of Lake McDonald. Not too bad. Now that is a rocky point. <clears throat> Woo! Woo! Woo I really hope I got that. <laughs> Today we are in the Two Medicine area of Glacier National Park on the east side of the park. This area doesn't require an advanced reservation online to get in, which is good for us. And we are hiking the Running Eagle Nature Trail to see a waterfall named after Running Eagle, a warrior princess from the 1700s who lived here and had a spiritual vision on top of these mountains here. What do you think, Melissa? Nice waterfall? And pretty easy to get to. How long was the hike again? Five minutes. Yeah, five minutes. 0 0.3 miles, I believe. One way. Yeah. And it is a little bit busy since this is like the main popular thing to see in Two Medicine. Uh, there are not a lot of driving around to do in here, but there are a lot of hiking trails if you want longer hikes. And there's a nice lake with a boat tour. We'll see the lake in a few minutes. Behold, the Stellar's J. Ah, it's hiding now. That's cool. Here's the lake at Two Medicine. Very pretty view. This is Paradise Point Trail. It's 0 0.6 miles long and it goes around the edge of Two Medicine Lake. Very nice. <laughs> Glad I got that on video. And here we are. Paradise Point. It's almost paradise. What would make it more paradise? Take away the mosquitoes, makes the water a little warmer. 
Okay. And then it's true paradise. We are hiking now along this lovely trail to St. Mary Falls. Very nice, very nice. Melissa and I did this one three years ago. We're doing it again. We did have to drive around to the east side of the park since we're staying in West Glacier. And uh, the middle is still closed for snow. So you can't go over Logan Pass. There she blows. St. Mary Paul. Okay, this guy's way too friendly. This is Virginia Falls, because you know, we're in Montana, and uh, definitely worth going the extra distance on the St. Mary Trail. <laughs> well, look at you, beautiful animal. A marmot? A marmot? It'll amplify that section. Everybody on the team will be good to that. Wow. The thing was right next to us. No camera trickery or anything. <laughs> still not sure what it is though, it's still up for debate. Marmot, groundhog, woodchuck. Badger. Wait, is it groundhog or woodchuck? Could See, woodchuck? don't even know. We need to work on our rodentia, don't we? We need a biologist specializing in rodentia. Yes. We just arrived in the Many Glacier area of Glacier National Park after a good two hours of driving. And it is majestic AF. Look at all these mountains and glaciers, many mountains, many glaciers. Our first item of business is to hike to Apicuni Falls, a good two mile hike. There she blows. At the Cootie Falls. Pretty big one. Biggest one I've seen on this trip. Still pretty tiny compared to Takaka up in Alberta. Hey there, champions. There's the Many Glacier Hotel. 
quite the majestic building Seriously? in an even more majestic location. Wow. Yep. It's like Hogsmeade. Hi there. boat tour which includes a boat and a hike and another boat and another hike and then back the same way across the two lakes Swift Current Lake and Josephine Lake we're currently on the little middle hike section which is short but steep and all worth it of course it's beautiful here there she blows Josephine Lake and we're getting aboard the Morning Eagle for part two of the tour. Shape. Um, and underneath Salamander, kind of tucked into that hillside, we can't quite see it from here, but that's Grinnell Glacier over down in that basin. Um, and Salamander and Grinnell actually used to be connected, which is pretty cool. So taking the optional guided hike now on the far end of Lake Josephine to see Grinnell Lake. Oh, it's an inland tropical sea. Um, and it actually was here on this continent before we even had, um, before we even had plants on land. So it was like a super, super ancient sea. Um, and forming in that sea were all of these sediments that were gradually becoming rocks. Um, and some of those rocks we can actually see in here, these super incredibly ancient rocks, like these red rocks we have down here, like here. Can pick that up. Um, this is called Grinnell Argillite. Um, if anyone wants to take a look, feel free to pass it around. So that's Grinnell Argillite. It's some of the oldest rocks we have in the park and some of the oldest rocks that you can even see anywhere. She got me. There's the lake. How pretty. This is Grinnell Lake. Spectacular view. Maybe our new favorite. Yep. And we came here to celebrate my dad's 60th birthday. And he is currently <laughs> beached over there. Enjoying his life. Embracing his inner moose. <laughs> Whoa. Bouncy. That's the fun part. <laughs> Well, this is the end of our Glacier National Park journey. We spent four full days here, which allowed us to branch out to several different areas and enjoy a variety of hiking trails, all of which were pretty short and easy, while also offering incredible views of natural wonders. But of course, if you've been here, drop a comment and let me know what your favorite hiking trails have been. And whatever you do, don't forget. Deer kill a lot of people.